Hello, international students. My name is Emily, and I'm an international admissions and recruitment officer here at Carleton. And I'm very glad that you're tuning in today. This is for those of you who are graduating from a Turkish high school. I'm going to be covering the admissions process, the requirements, and how to apply to Carleton. Now, if you're watching this, you are probably all ready uh, to apply to Carleton. I hope that you've been able to check out our beautiful Riverside campus. We have a virtual tour on our website and we are located in Ottawa, Ontario, which is Canada's capital city. We have a very broad choice of programs. So we have 22 different degree programs at the undergraduate level with over 100 different majors to choose from. We also have award-winning faculty who will be the professors that are teaching your courses. And we have lots of opportunity for work while you're studying at Carleton. So you may do something called a co-op or a cooperative education or another type of work placement that will allow you to gain real life work experience before you graduate from your degree. And then of course, we invite you to become a part of our very caring and supportive community here at Carleton. Now for the admission requirements. The admissions average that we use is calculated using your top six academic courses and your prerequisites must be presented at the grade 12 level. So the required results and documents uh, will vary depending on the program that you're applying to and the admission requirements will also vary depending on the program that you are choosing. So we have a really handy tool on our website. Uh, if you go to admissions.carleton.ca, you can put in your education background, the curriculum that you are studying in or that you did study in, and the program that you are interested in applying to. And it will bring you to a page that will let you know exactly what you need in order to be eligible for that program. So that includes prerequisite courses that you need and the minimum admissions average that you need. Now, most of our programs will only look at your academics. However, we do have a select few programs that require a supplementary application or an additional application. And I'm gonna go over that in just a few moments so that you can um, get some more information on those programs. There will also be an English language requirement. Uh, and again, I'm gonna talk about that in more detail in just a few minutes. So a prerequisite subject is a course or courses required for entry to a particular program. For example, if you're applying for engineering, one of the prerequisite subjects for that is math. Your prerequisite subjects must be taken at the grade 12 level um, or the highest level. We will consider them at the highest level taken. There are minimum grades and prerequisite averages that we do need to see in order to give you an offer of admission to the program that you are interested in. Now, how to apply. There are two different ways that you can apply to Carleton. You can apply either on Carleton 360, which is our direct application, or you can apply on the Ontario University's Application Center. And I'm gonna go into more detail about those two in just a second. But once you decide where you're going to apply, you will then upload all of your documents online and then monitor your application and view your decision once we have made a decision. So if you are applying to more than one university in Ontario, we recommend that you use the Ontario University's Application Center or OUAC. It is a, it's a standardized platform that uh, you can use if you are applying to multiple universities in Ontario. There is a fee of approximately 166 Canadian dollars, and that will give you three different applications. You can apply to more schools or more programs. There will just be an additional fee for that. Now, if you are only applying to Carleton and no other universities in Ontario, we recommend that you use our direct application, which is uh, on our website, 360.carleton.ca. The application fee is about hundred Canadian dollars and that will give you um, a, an application to two of our programs. And again, we recommend this if you're only applying to Carleton and no other university in Ontario. Now the deadline to apply for most of our programs is April 1st, 2022. This is the deadline for those programs that do not have a supplementary application. However, if you are applying to one of our programs that do have a supplementary application, those usually have earlier deadlines such as February 1st or March 1st. So I recommend that you uh, look into what you need for your particular program and see if you need to be submit submitting anything uh, additional. The programs that do require supplementary applications are the one that you see on this screen. So architectural studies, humanities, industrial design, 
the interactive multimedia and design stream of information technology, music, and social work. And the supplementary application will look different depending on the program that you are applying to. For example, for music, you'll need to submit an audition, um, but for architectural studies, you'll need to submit a portfolio. Now, the documents that you need in order to apply are conditional offers. Um, we are able to make a conditional offer using your mid-year results. So we'll need to see those results from the mid, uh, the mid of your year. We'll need you to upload your high school transcripts with up-to-date grades, English language test scores, uh, and then we will need that, uh, you to provide your final results, your official final results, as soon as they're available to you. For the English language requirement, if you have been studying at least three years full-time in English, um, then that will, that will be sufficient for the English requirement. However, if you have not uh, been studying in English full time for a minimum of three years, we will need you to submit an English language test score. Grade 12 English does not fulfill this English requirement. So we will need to see that test score. And there's a few different tests that we accept. So we accept TOEFL, IELTS, uh, Duolingo, Cambridge, Pearson PTE. And there's more information about this on our website. You can see exactly what um, scores you need on these tests to be admitted with no ESL requirement. And then we'll also let you know the scores you need in order to be admitted with an ESL requirement. So I really recommend you check out our website for that information. For the admissions timeline, uh, the admissions process starts once you submit your application. And once you do that, you're going to receive an email from us acknowledging that we have received your application and requesting any additional documents that we need. You can upload your documents uh, directly to Carleton 360, and we recommend that you check Carleton 360 often because this is where you're going to view your decision. We do uh, offers of admission on a rolling basis, which means that as soon as we get your application, we review it and we try to get you an offer as soon as possible. Usually these offers come out between February and May, so that's a really good time to, to make sure that you're checking on your Carleton 360 account. Once you receive an offer or once you receive a decision, we will send you an email letting you know that a decision has been made and that you should go onto your 360 account and look at your decision. There will be a button that says view your offer that you can click on. And that is where you can view uh, what program you've been accepted to and some additional information, which I'll cover in just a moment. You will need to submit, or sorry, you'll need to accept your offer by the deadline in order to secure your spot in the program. You will also need to accept your offer of residence uh, in order to secure your spot in residence. Then when June comes around, that's when you can register for your courses and we will need you to provide your final documents such as uh, exam results as soon as you get them. So you might be wondering what is in an offer? Well, first off, uh, the offer of admission will be stated. That'll be the first thing in your offer, uh, the program that you have been accepted to. Scholarship information. So if you are receiving a scholarship, we will let you know and we will let you know exactly how much we are giving you. You will get a guaranteed offer in residence, which will be stated in your offer if you are coming to Carleton from high school. You can also use this offer letter as uh, uh, to apply for a study permit. Um, and then we will also give you information about conditional versus final offers. Now for the entrance scholarships, the really nice thing about these is that you don't have to apply to them. You will be automatically assessed for an entrance scholarship when you apply to Carleton. They are automatic merit-based entrance awards that are renewable and regainable. So as you can see here, if you have a minimum 80% average, you will receive a scholarship. And the higher your marks are, the more money we'll be able to give you. For example, if you enter Carleton with a 96% average, you will be eligible for our $16,000 scholarship. This $16,000 is broken up over your four years of study with us. So we'll give you $4,000 per year that you're with us. Uh, and you do need to maintain um, a certain GPA in order for us to be able to give you um, your scholarship each year. And just keep in mind that this money is in Canadian dollars. So this was a lot of information, um, but thank you so much for listening and please stay connected with us. We really want to help you um, throughout the admissions process. If you have any questions, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with one of our international admissions and recruitment officers. 
You can instant message with some of our students. You can send us a message during our live chat, uh, which is open Monday to Friday. And I invite you to check out our guided virtual campus tour, which is on our website so that you can get a glimpse of what the Carleton campus is like and what the Carleton community is like. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and please reach out to us at international at carlton.ca uh, if you have any questions because we are here to help you. So good luck with your application and I look forward to seeing you at Carleton.